Hello everyone and welcome back to Hidden Image Limited. Today we're going to be doing a tutorial on the pill song Memories. This one's a bit of a difficult one to be honest and it's not one that I fully grasped so use this video as more of an idea um, because this song is very freestyle on the guitar and um, Levine does some strange things that I don't know they're very <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. It was just a really strange sounding, but cool nonetheless. So without further ado, let's just get into it. So, at least the album version, it actually has a few guitars, and one of them is just playing chords. And I believe, I hope you can hear the guitar. I believe he's doing like a, an A minor and an E open chord. But he's also playing all the uh, B and E strings as well, so they ring out probably more than the actual chords. So I think, I'm not sure, so it's up to you whether you want to listen to me here. But I think he's going... So the first chord is just um, the open A, and then two on the D and G strings, and one on the B string, and you let the E ring as well. Now, uh, sorry about the cough, I've got a noise gate on, I just thought it'd be better than uh, letting that throughout the entire video. Uh, anyway, so if you move that upper string, so you've got the two on the E, uh, on the A, two on the D and then one on the uh, G string that's the second chord and you'll let the B and the E ring out so I think that's how it is Again, I'm not sure. Uh, I think maybe a few times in the song he throws in an open C. But uh, it's very hard to make out what he's playing. However, the second bit I do know, the uh, layered guitar that actually has this flanger on. So I'm going to turn my flanger on. And uh, the flange is really fast, sort of not full on the uh, feedback, but... And the main thing here is that he's doing um, the 12, the 13, and the 15 on uh, pretty much all of the strings. Uh, which I looked it up to try and find if it's a scale, just to help you out, but it doesn't seem to be a scale. Um, so it's 12, 13, and 15, and he does that here as well. I think it... Yeah, and then he moves down to 9, 10, and 12, and he's doing this sort of um, pattern. After the uh, 15, it just becomes chromatic. Now, there's not really a riff here, or else I would teach you. It's more just free-flowing, and that's the idea with Pill a lot of the time. It's not really riffs, more just ambience that adds to the track. So, But he does that a lot of the time. And he's doing 12, 13... Um, Back to the 12, 13, 
12. So yeah, I'm sorry that I'm not really teaching you much, I'm just playing it. I just want you to know that it's not really written, or, or a riff. You just need to know the notes to hit, it's not really in a scale either, it's just... So, I, I'm sorry that this isn't really as much of a lesson, but I just hope it helps in some way. Uh, the riff at the start might have some flanger on as well, I'll just turn the... Turn that feedback down. If you want to know the flanger that Keith's using, by the way, on this song, and all of Pill, he's using the Electro Harmonics uh, Electric Mistress pedal from the 1970s, I believe. However, they're extremely rare now, uh, so the version I'm using is the updated Neo Mistress, which is a smaller version, and uh, it's great, it's pretty accurate. If you want to play songs like Pop Tones, you can add the, uh, you can add the rate and all that. That sort of thing, but with songs like um, Memories, it's pretty necessary to to get that really high rate up there. So anyway, that's all I'm gonna say for this lesson. I'm sorry it's been more of just me playing notes and things like that. But there's not really much to teach with this song because it's um, very free-flowing. And you'll find that with a lot of Pill songs, with the exception of some off First Issue and a couple off Metal Box and um, Commercial Zone. With the early Pill era, a lot of it is free-flowing, so that's all I have to say. I hope it's helpful, though. I hope you've figured out some way of playing it yourself now. Uh, that I've shown you those two chords and sort of what you'd play up here. Uh, yeah, that's all. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.